Using the SciTools application on the TI-8384 Plus calculators for unit conversions. In order to do this, we're first going to access the SciTools application. This can be found under Apps, and you scroll until you get to SciTools, and that's this one right here. When you select this one, this particular screen comes up. It tells you the version number and the copyright is here and it says press any key so we'll go ahead and hit enter again and here we have the select a tool menu the options are significant figures calculator unit converter data graphs wizard and vector calculator and if you press Y1 you can exit out of the application so we'll select the unit converter Now the options under the unit converter are as follows. You have unit converters for length, area, volume, time, temperature, velocity, mass, force or weight, pressure, energy or work, power, and then you have the SI prefixes. And if you wish to select specific constants, you can hit the Y equals or the window button and select uh, specific constants that are programmed in like the universal gravitational constant or Avogadro's number. We'll go ahead and use the length uh, option here in order to show how to use this converter. So we use length. Okay. Now let's say that we want to type in uh, a number. I'll type in 145. Now we're going to use the cursor keys to navigate uh, to the unit our number is in. And let's say that our number is in centimeters. So I select centimeters and now the calculator is asking what unit do you want to convert 145 centimeters into? Keep in mind, it's converted our number into scientific notation, and it will report results in scientific notation as well. Let's say I want to convert it into feet. So the conversion is that 145 centimeters is equivalent to 4.757 e to the 0 feet. Now e to the 0 is 10 to the 0 power, which is just 1. So we can say that 145 centimeters is equivalent to about 4.76 feet. Under the length um, option, the units available for converting are as follows. We have phycometer, angstrom, millimeter, centimeter, meter, kilometer, a thou, which is used in fabrics, it's one thousandth of an inch, the inches, the feet, the yards, the fathom, the rod, the mile, the nautical mile, and the light year. Now we may see some commands at the bottom of the screen here, namely the constants, so we can access those constants. Uh, export, copy, and edit. Now the export command uh, means that I'm going to take the output from this conversion and return it to the home screen. And you can hit the zoom button to access this. So let's go ahead and hit zoom. And then let's go back to the home screen. So I quit out of the length option, I quit out of the unit converter, and then I exit out of the application. And here we can see the last output from the unit converter copied into the home screen in scientific notation. Now let's go back under the Sci tools and see some of the other commands that are available. So we're back to our screen. Go ahead and press any key. We'll go ahead and select the unit converter again. And this time, we're going to take a look at these constants. 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the copy command to copy one of these constants into our unit converter. And for example, uh, suppose I want to convert Earth's gravitational constant of 9.8 meters per second squared into feet per second squared. I would use this copy command under the constants. So here we go. Hit Y equals and we're going to scroll through these constants until we get to little g here. The name of the constant is printed here and the numerical evaluation is printed here along with the units. So right now I have the gravitational acceleration on Earth and I'm going to hit the trace button so I can copy this number. And then it says, which one do I want to copy it into? I'll copy it into the length, and there is the number. And let's say I want to convert this into feet. So I'll, I'll use the cursor keys to navigate to feet. And here we see that we have 3.21 times 10, or 32.17 feet per second squared. So this is how we can use the constant option to pull out constants to copy into other converting commands. The edit command, or the graph button, is used to edit an input without having to start over. So let's go ahead and clear out this particular value. And let's say, for example, I want to convert 145 feet to inches, but I made a mistake here. I should have typed in 145, not 14.5. So I'm going to use the edit command, and I'm going to clear out what I originally typed and type the number in correctly. I'll go ahead and convert that to feet, and then I'll have that convert into inches. And this is how you can use the edit command in order to make corrections as necessary. And this is how you can use the unit conversion menu under the side tool applications on the calculator.